Hello everyone, Mucklet Douglas Bartholomew, Reginald Esquire the Fourth here, and this is a guide aimed at showing you how to craft Generation 3 Legendary Weapons. If you are interested in making a Gen 1 or 2 Legendary, I have a guide for that already. I'll have a link for that down below. Let's get started. First off, why would you want Legendary Gear? Legendary Gear has the same stats as Ascended Gear. This means if you have a piece of Ascended Gear with Power, Precision, and Ferocity on it, for example, and a Legendary Gear with those same three stats, the numbers on the two will be the same. However, the legendary gear can swap to other stats at any time you are out of combat. This means you can use that weapon with every gear set you own or aim to own, and it can always have the desired stats. Additionally, when you replace a sigil or infusion on a legendary item, the old one pops off instead of getting deleted, which can save a lot of cash if you swap builds often. The second reason you might want a legendary is the graphics. Gen 3 legies have unique skins, footsteps, kill animations, they're on a cooldown so it won't go off 30 times when you AoE pocket raptors, and sometimes sounds. Additionally, you will be able to change the theme of Gen 3 legendaries with optional achievements to that of the other Elder Dragons. Shown here are some examples already live in the game. Full guides on how to get these variant skins will be another video. Step 1 is deciding which one we are making. We can make the one we get to use on the most characters. Example, if all of your characters use a sword as one of their weapons, we might go for a sword legendary for that reason. Or if you play one tune but swap gear a lot, you might pick the weapon used in the majority of your weapon sets to ease the burden on your swapping. Or lastly, you might pick the one you think is hot. Mm. Now, a legendary is a long-term project. You can, in some cases, sink a massive amount of gold and finish a legendary in a day. Or you can chip away at it slowly, working on it a little each day over weeks, and get it done without feeling like you just went bankrupt. Do whichever you like, or anywhere in between. I'm a fan of the slow and steady approach. I like to constantly be working on a legendary as a side project while I play at all times. Seriously, if you've never seen this list of ingredients, you're going to be mind blown. I cannot stress enough that this is a long term project. Don't get discouraged. We're going to visit the legendary weapons section of the GW2 wiki. The link will be in the description down below. Scroll down to the Gen 3 weapons and decide on an objective if you don't have one in mind already. The materials are slightly different for each weapon, so decide on the one you want now. You can click each weapon to see some pictures. You can also view them in the dressing room in the in-game bank. You can see on this table of Gen 3 weapons that each one requires four major items. Draconic Tribute and Gift of Jade Mastery are involved in all of them, then a Precursor Weapon and a Legendary Weapon Gift. Clicking on Orin's Persuasion, or whatever Gen 3 you want, opens the page that has a breakdown of what you need to hurl into the Mystic Forge to get Orin's Persuasion, and where those items come from. Any of the ingredients you need, you can click on on this page to see where they are from, but let's gloss over the list and explain some of the unique ones. Jade Runestones come from Treasure Chest scattered around Cantha, as well as the Hero's Choice chest for Echovald and Kanang City. It is purchasable from the trading post. Chunks of pure jade can be mined in many places. There is a great deal of it in Dragon's End. This item can also be purchased at the trading post. Chunk of Ancient Ambergris is earned from dozens of different methods that are all related to fishing, and also the Seitung Province Hero's Choice chest. Again, this can be purchased on the trading post if you prefer to farm gold elsewhere and spend it on this instead of fishing. Blessing of the Jade Empress is from Myung He, located in the Xing Zhe Monastery in Seitung. This lady is a jerk who runs a monopoly and demands a tribute to even be able to shop there. You must give her the four Jade Statuettes, which are the rewards from Matt Metas, in order to do business with her until the next weekly reset. The four statuettes can be gained from the trading post if needed. They are quite cheap, especially compared to the Whale Vomit. You will need to buy five blessings of the Jade Empress from Young He if you already have a precursor, or seven blessings if you plan to craft the precursor yourself. We'll talk about the precursors soon. Each blessing costs 500 Imperial Favors. Imperial Favors come from events all over Cantha. It is worth mentioning you can also consume the scrolls you get from EOD events for more favor. Combining those four items gives you the gift of the Dragon Empire. The Bloodstone Shard is purchased from Miyani, next to the Mystic Forge and Lion's Arch for 200 Spirit 
shards. The gifts of Seitung, New Kanang, Echo Vault, and Dragon's End come from two methods. The first method is to simply do map completion. If you have already done map completion and need an additional set of these, you can light all the jade lanterns in a zone to get another one. This then resets the lanterns. You can do this as many times as you wish. If this is your first Gen 3, you will most likely be using the gifts you got from map completion. Just combine those four map gifts and you'll get the gift of Cantha. 100 antique summoning stones. Dat ass. Okay, so you get five of these per week for very cheap from Lavis and Arborstone. Make sure you get these every week, if not for yourself, then for their resell value. You can also get them from Dragon's End Meta, Strike Challenge Modes, and the Trading Post, which is quite expensive, even more than the Whale Vomit. All the previous items combined gives you your Gift of Jade Mastery. Next up is 38 Mystic Clovers. Gen 3s take less clovers and coins than previous legendaries, making this step not too challenging. You should have this from login rewards, but if you need more in a rush, you can purchase clovers from various merchants since the beginning of End of Dragons and also craft them if you are in a rush. The page of Mystic Clover sources is down below if needed. Five Amalgamated Draconic Lodestones. You can purchase these on the trading post or craft them yourselves. There are many recipes that yield these. If you have most but not all of the materials for one of these recipes, it may be cheaper to just buy the pieces you are missing and craft them yourself. Gifts of Condensed Might and Magic are made with gifts of claw scales, bones, fangs, blood, venom, totems, and dust. Those eight smaller gifts are made by an artificer, huntsman, or weaponsmith, and are account bound, so you will need at least one of those on your account. The eight smaller gifts are then combined in the Mystic Forge to get the two condensed gifts. The previous items combined will then make the Draconic Tribute. We now have two of the four large items for the Legendary. The next two will be different based on the one you want. I will continue explaining for the sake of example, but there will be slight differences for each weapon. Make sure you are making the correct components you need. Next up is a poem on whatever weapon type you're making. For the poem on a rifle, I need a sheet of premium paper, which was a few silver on the trading post, or you could craft it as a scribe. A Deldramore steel rifle barrel. This was account bound, so I had to have a huntsman of mine make this. If you were crafting the dagger, you would need something made from a weaponsmith, etc. It cost me a few Deldramore ingots and some other minor materials. 10 Lamplighters Badges. These are rewards from map completion or lighting the Jade Lanterns. I really did not want to do this, so I spent some gold on them on the trading post. 10 Tales of Adventure. You get these as you complete the end of Dragon's story, but you can also buy them on the TP if you need more. Those four items combined, remember the Deldramore thing will vary by weapon, give you your poem of weapon. 100 Mystic Rune Stones, which costs you 100 gold total from Miani next to the Mystic Forge. Sadly, there is no getting around this. Next up is a Gift of Research. You need 250 Thermocatalytic Reagents, sold by Master Craftsman Merchants. 500 Hydrocatalytic Reagents. These are sold by Master Craftspeople. However, the cost to buy them is Research Notes. If you need advice on how to get Research Notes quickly, I have a guide for that. I'll link down below. 250 Essence of Luck. These are the exotic ones that give 200 luck. Now, if you didn't know already, a level one artificer can combine small lucks into a larger one. Just save all the luck you get for a while, pass it onto another character of yours with your bank that has level one or higher artificing, and you can combine it until you get what you need. Combine these items in the Mystic Forge to get the Gift of Research. Gift of Glory, sold by Miani next to the Mystic Forge. It is purchased with 250 shards of glory, which is obtained from PvP, or they are very cheap on the trading post. Gift of Battle has only one source world v world reward track if you don't world v world and you need advice i have guides on that and also recommend using boosters and guild hall buffs which drastically speed up how fast you get this gift of war again from mayani for 250 memories of battle these drop in world v world and are sold on the trading post save any you get while working on the gift of battle reward track and then you can buy the leftovers that you still need if you wish to do so 
cube of stabilized dark energy. Made by having a craftsman of one of these professions combine a ball of dark energy and 75 stabilizing matrices. The ball of dark energy is obtained from salvaging ascended gear. It is guaranteed from weapons or armor and a low chance from anything else. The matrices are from fractals primarily, but can be purchased on the trading post. After crafting the cube, combine it with the gifts of battle, glory, and war to make gift of the miss. Combine that with the gift of research, the 100 mystic runestones, and poem on weapon in the forge to get your gift of your chosen weapon. Last is the precursor. It can be found just by roaming the world, but it's like hitting the lottery. If you are specifically looking for it, there are three realistic options. Option one is buying it off the trading post. At the time of writing this, the Dragon's Persuasion is about 225 gold, but that will vary based on the weapon and over time. Option number two is crafting it. Option number three, which is my personal recommendation, is if you have worked on Season of the Dragons, you got a free Gen 3 precursor of your choice, saving you a lot of work on this step. You can only do this once, but it's a free bonus to working on the Legendary Amulet. I'll link a guide for that down below if needed. To pick up your free precursor or to get the recipes for crafting it, go to Lavis outside the Crystal Cave in Satung. For buying recipes, he will want some Tales of Adventure, which were covered earlier. Finally, after obtaining your precursor, throw the gifts and the precursor into the Mystic Forge and withdraw your legendary. Proceed to awe, marvel, and second guess all the time you spent and wonder if now, here at the very end, should you sell it? Remember, if you unlock the item, it will go into your legendary armory and can be used on every build template of every character that can use it. You also now have the option of making those Gen 3 variants mentioned earlier. So. Which one are we building next? Remember that I have the links to all of the steps in the description below. Use them if you need more details. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like for the YouTube algorithm, comment if you have any questions or if you know any tricks and tips that I didn't share, and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more content. Another massive thank you to the supporters on Patreon and Twitch who keep this channel alive. And if you are interested in becoming one and getting more videos and perks, there is a link in the description. Shilling complete, thank you for listening, and happy crafting.